This machine is, is a tubular frame. It has a tubular structure uh, that goes the full length of the machine covered with a fiberglass shell. Parallelogram front end, much like uh, the BMW is now. Uh, and this was a little bit ahead of that time, but nevertheless, it has the basic geometry of a standard bike, actually, but it uses a parallelogram to actuate the shock. The rear is a similar setup. It's a swing arm, but it uses a parallelogram in the rear end as well. The tubular frame, it, from here to here, is uh, filled with lead. And uh, to do, the reason for that is, is to get the center of gravity of the machine forward and to dampen the vibration. This thing vibrated terribly. These are 300 mile an hour tires. Uh, there was a lot of um, research and development done by Goodyear and paid by yours truly. <laughs> and we now have tires that will go at 400 miles an hour. And, and that has been the goal from the very beginning. I wanted to be the first to go 400 miles an hour, be the first motorcycle builder ever to do it. This machine was the first machine that had a motor in it that was designed specifically to get the land speed record. It's a V4, double overhead cam, four valve per cylinder. And when we ran it in this machine, it was normally aspirated. It was written by Rocky Robinson and um, he rode it in the United States to 294 and in Australia to 297. It was a disappointment because I thought this machine had the capability of getting the record at the time. The record at the time was 322 miles an hour held by the double-engined Harley-Davidson of uh, Easy Riders. The machine was extraordinary under 280 miles an hour. It was, it was a rocket, but it got up to that speed and it started doing funny things. Uh, frankly, the front end started getting very heavy, very heavy. I mean, like an additional 1,700 pounds heavy. And um, it made for a lot of drag. Uh, it's a credit to Rocky. Uh, it, it must have been awful heavy to steer. Uh, but his determination and the machine is fairly stable, but still it got up to right at 300 miles an hour and it just ran into the wall. It's on loan here at AMA for unspecified amount of time and I hope people enjoy it.